Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got some really cool news, something that is extremely unexpected, being that, uh, well, I'll just get into it. The VK3002M is coming to War Thunder, and it's not going to be a premium vehicle. That's right, so the VK3002M is a prototype Panther tank and is essentially a lesser armored, better mobility version of the Panther D, which is really, really cool. So it's got the same cannon. It's got more or less about the same layout, but it has slightly less armor up front. So instead of 80 millimeters as 60, but of course that means that it will have better mobility. So this is going to be a very cool vehicle. It's more or less going to be like a different take on the Panther D it will still have the same port or traverse speed, same loads uh, reverse speed as well, but it will be a very effective vehicle. Now, one interesting thing about this is going to be its BR. Being that the Panther D is currently 5.3 BR, will this be a 5.0 BR vehicle? I'm not sure. It very well could be, but of course, we'll have to wait until the update comes out. Now, the cool thing about this is that, again, this is a prototype vehicle. This is something that, one, I thoroughly expected would be a premium vehicle if they ever brought it to the War Thunder, but it's not. And I'm really impressed with Gaijin for putting this into the game as a regular tech tree vehicle. So good on you, Gaijin. And you're going back to World War II vehicles, which again is unexpected. I did not expect that at all from Gaijin, because of course you would expect them at this point to just release more and more modern vehicles. So going back to not only a World War II vehicle, but a prototype World War II vehicle, especially for one of the most popular vehicles in game, and then not making it premium, you know what? Good for you, Gaijin. That is really, really cool. But that being said, let me know what you guys think about this vehicle coming to War Thunder. Of course, the historian in me, or amateur historian rather, really thinks that it is awesome, and so I am uber stoked and this will be one of the first vehicles i test out once the new update comes out so just let me know in the comments below and also one real quick thing here i saw some comment on a post online saying that i make like these 10 minute long videos about every single update for war thunder i don't i make like two or three minute long videos maybe four or five and that's it so i'm not really sure exactly and and even still it's only on very selective things like i'm not going to do a video on for example the uh the pbv 302 bill like that it's just such an uninteresting vehicle to me why would i make a video about that or about like battle rating changes or something it's just not really what i do i'm not really a fully fleshed out news channel so maybe you got the the wrong channel in mind but uh it doesn't really matter yeah i just wanted to point that out maybe you got me confused with someone else but either way thanks again and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone